Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. <laughs> step fear? That's amazing. Okay, I like that. That's funny. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Aww. Uh, I'll, I'll turn on the music in just a sec. I just want to inspect your room a little because I'm extremely nosy. A high chart! Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Dad is gone on the top, huh? Guessing your dad died or were divorced and now there's a new man in the house and you don't like him very much. Chloe's dad built this dresser. A snoop. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Well, we can pretty much assume that she's into some, you know, drug stuff. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. What more could you need? It's built up with everything a healthy young adult would uh, require. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. Oh my god, so pretentious. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. It won't play without any power. All right, then we gotta plug it in. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop. But I love how funky and outdated it is. She even covered it in punk stickers because Chloe doesn't give a shit. She's so ra ra rascally. She looks super happy. That's a new word. She looks super sad. Them selfies. She looks super stoned. Yep, I figured. Interesting character here. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Does she not mind us, like, looking over everything in her room? <laughs> so it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Okay. Well, that's good to know. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Oh, you're so wild. Uh, trash can. What's in the trash can? I'm so snoopy. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. So it seems. Alright, let's go plug this uh, bad boy in right now. Ah, oh, here we go. Hey, what's this? Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. No. The good old days, huh? Let's go. So, here comes the point where they're about to play some copyrighted music for us. So I think to resolve that, we're gonna go into audio settings and turn down the music all the way until the sequence is done. And I'll, I'll just put in some other music in the meantime. That's how we're gonna have to solve this. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Okay, um... So if we wanted to find... Where, where do you keep your CDs, Chloe? Oh, what's this? This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Oh. How do you guys know each other? Miss you, wish you were here. I guess you guys were best friends, and that's why you were so concerned that she disappeared. We had <laughs> such a blast drawing these together. <laughs> She's a killer with Chloe and Max. Yeah. Oh, wow. Power Girls. That is so cute. Wow. I get nostalgic for no reason because I was never a part of it. Seems like you had a bl oh. Dude, you brought my glass snow dough. Thanks. Well, this is your report card. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. Well, good thing we can fix it. There we go. Now let's make sure not to do that. 
and it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Where do you go? Oh, sorry, I had a little uh, migraine. Oh, more stuff. Must snoop. Find all the goods. There we go. Another picture of Rachel. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Sure, I got a, I got a great song. All lined up and ready for you. Okay. Time to figure out what that is in post-production. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe. Are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Alright then, I'll leave you and your weird music choice behind. Wow. Free to explore her house? Sweet. Let's go to the bathroom. Uh, this was dark and creepy. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. Let there be light. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Joyce? Her mom? I hope Chloe isn't taking these pills. Fluoxin and tablets. Pharmacist, please dispense with medication guide. Okay. What about this one? More snooping. Must be I done. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Yeah. If you're gonna go all out with a crazy color for your hair, I would say blue is not a bad option. Alright. I should probably turn off the lights before I leave. That's just... We don't want to waste power in this house. What's this? You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe. But here I am. Hmm. <sighs> So she seems a bit sad that we never got in touch. Max reminds me a little bit about me, actually, in the fact that we're not really good at keeping in touch with people. Nothing's changed. Except for me and Chloe. Yep. Like, I met one of my former friends. We sort of 
caught up a bit. I met him on the subway like a few months ago and I was like, you know, how's life been treating you? And it's just crazy roller coaster of mostly negative things. And I'm like, I wasn't a part of it. I'm not sure if that's, you know, in any way related to it, but we sort of drifted away and we took different paths, I guess. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Don't hate on her book choices. Hello? Oh. oh. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Bird. You okay? The poor thing. Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Okay. So what if we rewind time? And then we open the window before the bird comes. He's dead. He's still dead. Further! There we go. Open. Ooh. Nice. That was a close one. So, we seem to retain our position, meaning we can sort of be easier to have an easier time doing actions, basically. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Is this not one of the photos I'll need for my collection? Well, we have a bird that's perched on top of something near some branches, but I guess I can only get that. Maybe I'll get that picture later on then. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa, apocalypse self-help. All right. It's down Dark here. tags. Sweet. David Matson. Wait. Wait, wait, don't tell me that David Madsen is your stepfather. Why would there be dog tags of him over there if not... Oh, gosh. Joyce always loved her mail-order catalogs of useless crap. I mean, I don't see any other reasons they would be there. Oh. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Oh, okay, no, that's William. But then why were there... Okay, so his name is William, but then why were there dog tags of David Madsen? Maybe they were buddies? That's maybe a Joyce thing. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. So maybe David Madsen and uh, this William guy are friends. Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. No. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Oh. Alright. That's not good. What about this photo over here? Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. But that is... That is David! That is the... Wait, so who's... Who's William, then? Wait, I don't... I don't get who... But... David... This, is your stepfather the security guard? What? Then who is William? The plot thickens. The plot thickens once again. All right. Here's the mail. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Yep. Not too nope. good. Someone locked it from the other side. You mean I'm not allowed to snoop? Aw. How will I survive? Oh. Kate. Thanks, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy's an asshole. But if he lives here, and he sees me snooping around, I'm gonna have a bad time. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Beautiful. Alright. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. You won't leave any electricity on. Ooh. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Toilet paper. <laughs> Need more toilet paper. Is that a jar? <gasps> That's a jar. 
I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. I would say let's stay for dinner, but... First of all, I don't know if their financial situation supports that, and secondly, if David Madsen's gonna be around, then... Oh. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Mm. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Ooh. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now. Sit down. Let's chill. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up! Oh, underage drinking. How lovely it is. Alright, are we done with this little sitting around the couch thing now? I suppose not. I suppose we must sit more. There we go. We're done. Oh, memories. Beautiful, beautiful, sweet memories. So, we were looking on tools in the garage. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Yeah. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Alright, it's confirmed. It's David Madsen. Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Oh, yep. And he's gonna hate me, too. Is that a gun rack? Oh, wow. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Or maybe Chloe's the one packing heat. Yes! Score! Alright, uh, let's find some uh, tools. That's the TV. This action will have consequences? I guess because it's apparent that it's open? Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of cameras? I can figure out why. What the? Chloe's what? stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Okay, nah, no, that's going too far. That's going too far. It's your one in Chloe's room. It's your one in Chloe's room. I must know. That's still, no. Not cool. Okay, so, uh, close it, definitely. So he doesn't know we've even been here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Tiny tools. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Everything you need for a healthy meal. Ooh, what's this? I wonder what's in those files up there. Shit, Butterfingers. Yeah, nope, let's look first though. Kate Marsh, why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. She knows something. All right, let's reverse that. We were never even here. Okay. Our, our rewind power is quite useful. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. So much spam is gonna fill up your email real quick. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Yeah. 
Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. <laughs> oh, here's something. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. That's okay, because I got a plan. Now, we turn into a... Oh, cardboard! I was going to say that we turn into like a little little Man, midget. I should have done that before they fell. If only I could go back. Alright. Let's push this under. <laughs> Man, I should have done that before they fell. Yeah, but I just went... Ugh. There we go. They're still... They're not up there yet. Okay. I'm still sort of getting the hang of the rewind technique. There we go. Let's try that. Let me put you there. We turn this on. And we pull this out. Yes! You have mad skills, Max. Oh yeah, Mad Max. Then we'll turn this off. There we go. I leave no trace. So, uh, we've been snooping around here, but I've left no traces as far as I know. That lamp was on when I came. Alright, let's go. Unless I'm gonna be, like, working on it over here. Where do you want to fix the camera? Is there a special place you want to be? Or should I just go back to the room with it? I'm just gonna go back upstairs, I think. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? So, are you asking about the whole gun thing or the whole drug thing? Because you know, we need to be more specific here. Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. 
You're crazy. Brain. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane on the brain. Let's dance. Shake that phony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> this day couldn't get any stranger. On fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Don't turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. The closet. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Shit. Don't get smart. That didn't Just work. Let me in Shh. now. Under the bed. Second, my I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? I don't know. Suitcase. Yeah. I need more time. I need more time. Two, three. Help. Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. It's not my pot, it's from Max. Is this true? Well, I feel like he has less authority over me. Like, he can do stuff to Chloe if he's mad at her that he can't do to me if he's mad at me. So, yeah. I got you, Chloe. Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. I wonder Man, if- that did not go well for me. No, it didn't. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Yeah, but- I'm so screwed. I'm already the principal is already like no Okay, but it maybe I could have hidden here behind, I don't know. I don't know if you physically can hide in the room when he comes in Because I don't see any good spots to hide You know what I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to reverse time and try to hide again You can hide a joint but not the smell forget it so I can't get rid of the joints, even if I'm trying. Can I hide behind the TV? One second. What about? Bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe. Oh wait. What if I move this and then I hide? Because this is what messed me up. Hide. Yes. One, two, three. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah. Combat, we'll do that to you. One of my guns is missing. 
Whose is it? Well, I'm just good. This one, I feel more okay not stepping in to save her, because if I step in now, it's just going to look double worse. <sighs> Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Not cool. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. All right, David I feel was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I feel okay with that outcome right there. You mean, not not the fact that she got smacked and stuff, but... Man, I do not like David, but I guess they did their uh, character creation correct then if they wanted to create an unlikable character. Let's go. We'll go out through the window. Seeing Step Dick is not on the agenda. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Rather step on his dick. Let's go. I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Yep, going to the lighthouse. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Just more calm this time. No. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. I want a picture of a bird. What is it, Warren? I don't have time for your SMSs. <laughs> Earth to Max, your white knight Warren here. I know you were worried about me. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call back later, okay? I swear. No problem, and you still have to tell me your big secrets. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I should tell Warren. I mean, I feel I can tell Chloe, but I don't know if I want to tell Warren. All right. We have some new pages to our journal, and I feel like we should go ahead and just read through them now. So if you don't want to do it, you can skip ahead. Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to anybody about this. Well, the only person I could, I haven't seen in five years. I could confide in Warren. He's smart and no science, so maybe he could even think of an explanation. Though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had the chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist and Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, black and white badassery, Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim, for about the millionth time. On a side note, I saw a missing persons poster on campus for Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her Vertex vixens blocked me from getting in and even took my picture. It was so high school movie, I can't believe she did it. She actually told me to go fuck yourself, though it was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. 
She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I have been given an actual gift from the universe, but you did give me a chance to test it out. But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps, covered in paint. She didn't look like the Queen Biatch of Blackwell, just a lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted a picture she took of me from her phone. So maybe there's hope for the future. More high school drama. Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Juliet told told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Sack and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. We won't do it thoroughly. Once I gave Juliet the proof that Victoria was behind it all, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, but we said nasty things about Victoria and I think it definitely made her feel better. We talked about Warren and Dana implied he likes me. Ew. I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there has to be a reason it was given to me, so I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football-fueled headshot. I admit it felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen hassling Kate Marsh. I couldn't hear everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed, I went over to stop him for being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. He was an asshole, as usual, but I felt good about what I did and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did that without using my rewind power. Wait, we did rewind though. This day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing. And I can't even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case though, it turned out half bad and half good, which I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over, freaking out all over again. He got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit. Even though I was scared because I knew what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in a truck. My former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like, WTF? Next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock. I was almost paralyzed. Especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. Of all the bizarro and unexplainable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck, listening to music and staring at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. So I try to process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings and cool boots and I... I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers. At least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot, melee with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care considering everything else going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate rewind. Some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self, cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill, so I explored her room to play catch up on what she was into these days. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude, probably some psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup of Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see why he's... She's got serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized that I'd saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was so happy, like when we were kids, and it was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's awesome old... 
Instamatic. Is that somehow related to the word Instagram? As a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty. Just a bit. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up. And he was David Madsen. <gasps> I had to hide in the closet and then David came in, angry about the music. He was even scarier off campus because he didn't have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. Then shit got real. David found Chloe's joint and flipped out on her. She didn't back down and he actually slapped her. Bastards. I thought Chloe would be pissed I didn't step in to help, but she didn't think it would matter. We decided to get out of there and catch up on our exploring. Like best friends. So that was a big old recap of what we just seen, but hey, I want to try and stay up to date on her book. Let's see, we have some new pictures here. Warren? I knew if I gave Warren my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he has tons of cool TV shows and films on there. Thank God it wasn't porn. <laughs> and I'm thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend and we share a lot of the same interests. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. Even though he says he loves my pictures, I can't tell if he's just being nice. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally the same age here. And he makes me smile. Oh, Warren. Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? After finding out you saved her life in a bathroom? Nothing. I feel so lame for not staying in touch. Or even text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. For one thing, she looks so similar, but so different. She's all grown up now, but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate. Except one who stage dives. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them, but I'm gonna find out, no matter what. Alright. Those were the- oh, right, Rachel, I forgot about you. Where is Rachel Amber? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality like missing person posters literally wallpapered all over campus. I already know her name through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Rachel has a great picture on her missing person poster. She looks posed and pretty like a model. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like to hope so, for her sake. It's so depressing, and I feel awful for her parents. What a shady thing to go through. Sigh. No matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. True that. Have we missed out on some things? We might have here and there, but I feel like we've we've done okay. Ooh, so these are like different places around the sweet. All right, where were we? All right, here's a stump, beautiful stump. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Hmm, map. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> the nostalgia. Alright, a campfire. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Mm. How long has that been here? Trust no one. Lighthouse. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Oh yes, it is no lie. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Oh, wow. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? A real Bigfoot. A tree haiku? How pretty. Alright, Chloe. Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. 
I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwall students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Spooky ghost deers too, man. Oh, hey, Mr. Dare. Chloe's still up there. I have to find out. I jump. Ah! Holy shit, that was close. I almost died. Scroll. Oh, we good? Can I go on under, over, sideways? All right, here's what we do. Like this in we make the tree go back up. And then we pass before it falls. Okay. 
Ghost there. Don't leave me like this. Ghost there. Oh no. Nope. Not gonna have that. There we go. Kept them off our back long enough. I would be dead like three times over, if not for my powers. What is it? What is it, buddy? Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Oh! Oh, wow, okay. I live. Okay. Back up. Shit. Okay, now we pass by quickly. Uh, there's a newspaper here. Sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. That was the end of the first episode, and there are four episodes released. Let's look at our stats here. We reported Nathan, as most people did. We comforted Victoria, which a lot of people did, actually. Three out of four people. We intervened to help Kate, yep. But we stayed hidden, but we didn't come out to intervene. But mostly, we sort of did what most people do. Let's see. You didn't let Daniel. That's like 50-50. You helped Eliza. You raised the insults, you watered your plants. You didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. 
Wait, was there a pregnancy test somewhere? You didn't touch Victoria's photos. I did, but I rewinded. You didn't write on a dirty RV. No, I didn't know it was there. You saved the bird. You didn't break. I missed, uh, I feel like I missed out on actually quite a lot. Like, I thought I was thorough, but there's so many pictures I never got. Oh my, we're in for quite the journey, so tune in next time when the journey continues. Have a still good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.